Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin joins us now. Governor, you went from the business sector to the political sector with a, with a stunning uh, and successful run to get this job. But what I just described with Chicago, but this is the same challenges you have in your streets in certain cities, correct? What about that mayor's reaction? Is that acceptable? No, it's not acceptable. And the reality, of course, is that the left liberal progressive policies that have all of a sudden decided that permitting violent crime and being soft on criminals is, is, is a policy that everyone's going to embrace. What we know is it doesn't work. And what we see is, is chaos, the words you use, Brian, chaos. And, and so that's when I, when I came into Virginia, we had a 20-year high in murder rate. Yep. And we went right to work. And, and we, had to, we had to backfill law enforcement. And so we had a record investment in law enforcement and raised salaries. And we recognized that we have to prosecute criminals and keep them in jail. And finally, we have to increase penalties. And so one of the things we did this past legislative session is, is if there is a group of people that are collectively robbing a store, they're going to do up to 20 years if they try to profit from it. We've got to increase right. penalties for crimes. We've got to hold people accountable. And this is all about making sure that we are clear. We are a nation of laws. We are a commonwealth of Virginia of laws, and we will enforce them. And I do think it's important for everybody uh, to get into the inner city, find out what the, what the problem is that forces eruptions like this, at the same time enforcing law and order, because the clearly the issues that need to be addressed, we can't wait for families to reconvene and come together. On a different note, a lot of people, go ahead, you want to follow up on that? Yeah, Brian, I was just going to say one of the things that I, I did early in our administration was I went and visited with the cities that are having the toughest issues with crime. And these are cities that are run by Democrat mayors. And the Democrat mayors sat down with me and said, we need more cops. We need prosecutors that will put people behind bars. And we need witness protection because this cashless bail thing is, is encouraging people to threaten witnesses so they won't, they won't testify. Yeah. And so that's why we launched Operation Bold Blue Line. We're gonna bring 2,000 more cops into Virginia. We're gonna continue and invest in training and equipment. We're gonna continue to raise pay and we're going to put more cops on the streets. I know you have one term and done. Uh, you're only just a year in and a lot of people looking at you as a presidential candidate. And I know you're off to Taiwan to talk about trade and security. But there's something within the Republican Party I wanted to get your take on. I looked at Chris Sununu, looked at Donald Trump, look at Chris Christie and Mike Pence. They're all against what Governor DeSantis is doing with Disney and the fight with Disney. And I like to see where you stand on that. And I also like to see, for example, I know Legoland's going into Virginia. If they came out against some of your policies, like the one you just spoke about, would you take them on? Would you let them know who's boss? Well, I've been very clear from the beginning about where I stand on, on all things. I mean, Virginians elected a Republican governor. They understand that they have, they have hired someone to go to work, to, to cut taxes, to stand up for law enforcement, to put parents back at the, at the chair seat at the table, not to have bureaucrats and politicians telling parents you have no role in your kid's life. People know what they got when they hired me, and we've been delivering. And I just think the key here is that when we, in fact, are fortunate enough to bring in great companies into Virginia, like Boeing, like Northup, like Lego, and we see great companies like Hilton double down again right. with us, uh, Amazon through AWS, these companies are coming to Virginia because this is where they know they can build but a reliable future. But if they took you future. on and called you this out, we're going to have a Governor, great workforce. Governor, I know, but if they, pulled, if they took you on and called you out about a proposal you might be putting coming down the pipe in six weeks... What would you do? Well, the first thing, the first thing that I do is, is I explain why we're doing what we're doing. And what I find over and over again is that common sense prevails. And common sense has been a leading indicator for winning states. And that's why Virginia's winning now, right. is because in the last 15 months, we have injected common sense back into government, and Virginia's winning. All right. Uh, DeSantis, right? Or is uh, uh, Trump, Sununu, Christie, Pence, right? Well, I, I think each circumstance is going to be different. And <laughs> in in, in what I find in my own relationships with companies is that I sit down with senior executives right. and we talk about what we're trying to get done. And I have yet to find a moment where we can't find a place to find common ground. This gotcha. is the, you know, Brian, 
the, the bottom line is we, we have got to find a way to take the air out of the balloon on on issues issues like ESG, which has gone out of control. I hear you. We've watched ESG all of a sudden lose lose its way, and it's become this overwhelming almost religion for people. Businesses are supposed to make profit. They're supposed to serve customers. They're supposed to have a great work environment. They're supposed to deliver an extraordinary yep. product. That's what businesses are supposed to do. And I, I know. Think when we finally get common sense back in the room, that's what businesses will be doing. But until then, all hell is going to break loose almost every single day. Uh, good luck with Legoland. Good luck in Taiwan. Good luck tonight at Mount Vernon. Governor, always great to talk to you. Thanks for the quality time. Brian, thank you. Take care. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.